Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? My name is Lancius K and I talk all about the practical uses of VR. Woo! That's right. Today, we're going to talk about the WordPress photo app coming right up. Welcome back. So the WordPress photo is one of the most, if not the biggest, non-profit organizations in rewarding photographers for their hard work. Every year, photographers can submit their work to win one of their awards, and if they win one of their awards, believe me, it changes their career by a mile. Uh, one of my good friends actually won one of those photos, link in the description below to his photo, and ever since, he has really been doing really well. And also, one of my other uh, good close friends was actually one of the judges for the World Press photo. Link in the description below to her website. Uh, again, absolutely amazing what these guys can accomplish. You can submit your work for every single category from sports, news, drama, art, a whole bunch of different categories. And a lot of the pictures that are on their website are really, really awesome. So go and check it out. The reason why I wanted to show you this app today is because if you're looking to create an app uh, or maybe you want to showcase other people's work, work, sorry, and you want to do like an exhibition kind of VR app, or you're just an enthusiast and you're looking for an interesting app to watch, to, 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 to immerse yourself in, then I think the WordPress photo have done a really good job in terms of how they showcase the work and the experience that they bring to the table for the viewer when they put the VR headset on and they go inside of it. So without further ado, let's jump into the Oculus. All right, so the first time that you load the app, you'll be introduced by one of these voices, uh, the narrator. And this is a really good example as to how you can build an exhibition VR app or some sort of art exhibit. Um, this is a very different environment. I feel very, very immersed. The music is very calming and it just transports me somewhere else. It seems like we're underground in some cave network or something. Absolutely very, very interesting. And here I'm just using my head to pilot uh, through the various areas. And then once I go near a picture, the narrator will pick up again. So let's go. Uh, I can actually go very close to the pictures and the pictures are in high quality. So they're not blurry in any shape or form. They're all nice, crisp and clear. I can stay in front of the picture and just look at it and admire the photographer's work. The only thing I think is a shame about this app is that I cannot control my own movement if I want to turn left or right. I have to use my head and then let my virtual seat take over. What I like about this app is that I guess not having the control of moving around and the speed at which I can move around makes me slow down because we're all so busy on our phones all the time. We have a lot of ADD, attention deficit disorder, and we want to go fast and multitask. So this app really forces you to take a step back and just relax and enjoy the exhibits like it's supposed to be. So you don't go into an art gallery and stay there for two seconds and then that's it, move away. You really want to spend, you know, 10 minutes or 15 min uh, 20 minutes and really look around. And in this app, you can spend probably, I would say, a good hour, maybe two hours. So, and just look at the images the way they were supposed to. So it's very interesting. This is an absolutely beautiful picture. Um, the only thing that uh, I think is lacking in this app is I can't use my trigger at all. Uh, it would be great if I could click on the picture and get a description of it or tell me who took it and because I forgot what the narrator just said. So it would be great to, to have that ability to know who took the picture, when, because this is beautiful. And also, if I could actually purchase the print, or if I could 
get in contact with the photographer, if there was a website link or you know a button I could press that says message me or send me a notification and then boom it will go directly to, to the photographer. There is absolutely no motion sickness in this app whatsoever. They have really thought this through and made it a very slow and steady experience when you're moving from one picture to another. I really like the fact that they think about the viewer much more compared to other apps. Let me know who is your one of your favorite photographers or pictures that you've seen. Leave a comment below uh, so that I can check it out. Maybe you've used another app in VR that's photography uh, using another device, maybe not necessarily just the Oculus Go. Uh, let us know uh, in the comments below so the community can learn from your experiences using VR. I'm trying to find more apps uh, and I have to admit that there aren't many, but I will try to see other gallery virtual tours uh, that I could potentially recommend to you guys. So click the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified when I find some really cool stuff to show you guys. It would also be nice to have a back button option. Uh, they do say to you that you have to look back, but I would like to be able to see this moving backwards, just gliding backwards and seeing the picture smaller and smaller. But instead I have to tilt my head the other way. So it's recommended to have a swivel chair. I have an armchair, unfortunately I don't have a swivel chair but it's fine. So I have to stop here and then I have to go back, but then I can't stop. It brings me back to the picture. So that's the only thing to me that's a bit annoying is I can't willingly stop. It would be nice to have that option to stop. So if you are an art organizer or an art gallery or artist and you're looking to create your own app, you can take note of this. So this is a very interesting picture of a sea turtle caught in a net, uh, shot by apparently Perez. And it would be nice if the app was uh, on would enable me to switch off the narrator voice every time I pass by another picture, uh, where I could just mouse over and I could choose to hear what the narrator uh, is saying or read the narrator's text in maybe a speech bubble or a UI that comes up uh, onto the app. So again, if you are an app developer or someone looking to create an app in VR for exhibition or uh, other, then maybe these are some of the tips that you can take from other people who have created apps. So very cool. So I could stay hours in here. There are so many, as you can see, there's so many pictures everywhere. And because the tour is quite slow, you could literally, I mean, you could spend quite a lot of time in this app. This app is free if you happen to download it and uh, you've come into it. Let me know which picture, let us know which picture you liked, which exhibit was your favorite one. Leave a comment below and we can debate it. All right, let's get out the Oculus. Okay, so we looked at the WordPress photo app, which I think is actually a good app that gives a good overview as what it should be like when you immerse yourself to watch and, and experience some kind of photography or some kind of art exhibition. If you are a brand looking to create an app that is kind of similar with some exhibitions or things like that, do take a look at it. Take what you think is good for you, leave whatever or tweak whatever you think is not so relevant to your app, but I think they've done a pretty, pretty good job. All right, and remember, like and subscribe, share some love so that together we can grow the community and leave a comment below. I hope this app review was useful to you. If it's not, leave a comment below. Until next time, thank you again for subscribing. Take it easy, DJ Q Music. Boxes are defeating, purpose always fleeting. I poise questions to the ceiling like an answer gonna come. Truth is too revealing.